How do I make a budget that is so easy I can do it on the back of a napkin in just a few minutes? Don't worry, I'm gonna show the easiest budget method you can start using right away. I did the research on every possible budgeting method in order to find the easiest one for super busy people that don't have time to waste on the small details that don't really matter in the grand scheme of things. By the way, it's never been easier to smash the subscribe button. In less than one second, you can help grow my channel and I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much, now let's begin. If you Google easy budgeting, you're going to find lots of different blogs, articles, and suggestions. But the problem is that it's information overload. I mean, is it seven steps, six steps, four steps, software? Do I really need software? It's probably not going to be too helpful. And if you're like most people, you're going to end up getting analysis paralysis and doing nothing. So I'm just going to tell you straight up, the easiest budget method is called pay yourself first. And I'm going to explain all about it in the next 60 seconds. But first, if you're having a good time hanging out with me, please let me know by clicking the like button now. The pay yourself first method is really simple. The idea is to decide how much of your monthly income you want to dedicate to saving and investing for your future goals and how much you want to dedicate to getting out of debt. The rest you just spend freely as you wish. This is by far the easiest budget method and it also happens to be my personal favorite for three reasons. First of all, it's really fast. And in today's world where it seems to be like time is going by at 10 times the speed that it is used to, that's really important. I mean, seriously, you just make two decisions and you're done budgeting. Move on with living life. And at the end of the day, isn't that what really matters? Second, the pay yourself first method puts the priority on saving and investing for your future. This is the biggest area that people usually forget about, but it's the most important for building wealth. Look at the survey that finds most Americans are not saving enough for retirement. And according to the AICPA, a quarter of Americans don't have a financial plan. And I get it, building wealth and investing can seem like a fantasy if you're already struggling, which brings me to the third point. The pay yourself first method puts the second priority on getting out of debt. CNBC reported that the average US household with debt now owes $155,622, or more than $15 trillion altogether, including debt from credit cards, mortgages, home equity lines of credit, auto loans, student loans, and other household obligations, up 6.2% from a year ago. And take a look at this breakdown of debt by age demographic, also from CNBC. Gen Zers have an average debt of $16,000. Millennials have an average of $87,000. Gen Xers have $140,000, and Boomers have $97,000. So it's not like debt is going away with age, but instead people seem to be carrying carrying debt around with them like people carry too much baggage at the airport. That's why I just had to tell you guys about the pay yourself first method. It's the easiest budget method and it gets results at the heart of the problem. Here's Lester the investor to demonstrate exactly how easy this budget really is. Lester makes $3,500 per month. In step one, Lester decides to dedicate $1,000 to saving and investing for his future and big money goals. In step two, Lester makes a decision to dedicate $500 each month to getting out of debt. That leaves the remaining $2,000 for Lester to spend however he wants. So is making that budget easy? Yes. Can you do it today on the back of a napkin in just a few minutes? Yes. Will this help you in real life? Yes. And as always, I want to help you guys out as much as I can. So here's my five easy investing rules. It's a completely free guide that I use before making any investment decision. Link in the show notes. Make sure you get your copy. Now watch my next video and I'll see you there.